high school coach, um, Coach Earl Brown. Um, coach Brown said he played in the Gus Mack as well. We're going to touch base on that as well. But um, Coach, um, we're, we're here just you know doing a documentary. It's called uh, Both Sides of Catalonia. And um, we're basically just talking about, um, you know, just, just might come up as a, as a, as a former player. You know, um, when I first got my, 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 my jersey, in, in, um, the red, white, and blue jersey, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, the Monty Rister class, down at the College of Charleston. That's right. I remember I slept in my jersey, you know, the, the, the night before. Yeah. Because, you, know, you know, just coming up, everybody wanted to play with Burton, everybody wanted to, um, to perform well. So, you know, that was, that was a great feeling coming up in those times, playing for Burke High School. And um, so, can you just you know just shed light on some of the hindsight of, of what you thought, um, you know, of me as a player, or you know, just some um, some things to you know, look back at in our timeline? Yeah, but well, during that time, uh, you came up with uh, with a group of special athletes, and and then being able to compete with them uh, as a youngster, uh, because when you look back at uh, Melvin Watson, Kim Brown, Zola Davis, and. And, and uh, Marlon Miller and Jamal Washington, who's uh, right now coaching. Uh, it was just uh, great to be able to compete with those guys. And, and then for the uh, the record that you, you guys uh, compiled here was uh, astronomical. And, uh, and I think that was just uh, a part of uh, your willingness to put in the work that was needed to stay where you were. And. Um, and you know, oftentimes when I look back at the, uh, I think that was the '92 uh, state championship game uh, when we uh, thought we had it done, we got opportunity at a layup to close it out, and uh, missed the layup and ended up losing that uh, championship. And I think it was double overtime. Right. But then we had some great games to get to that point. And, uh, so yeah, it, it's been. Uh, a great one, and, and as I said, uh, applaud you for being able to uh, hang with those guys, and then to see you in the position that you're in today, because the position that you're in today it, it goes right back to where you started, and, and then helping to develop a uh, young man, and then remembering uh, where you came from. And uh, it's just great to see uh, to see that, and you know, I, I can just remember some of those times uh, doing summer workouts. And, and as we'd explained to you, all of that work is not done in the gym, and it's what you do on your own. And, um, and it was uh, evident that there's a lot of that work that you did on your own as well, because you know we couldn't do it all in the gymnasium. And, and plus the fact that uh, you didn't have some of the things that some of these kids are privileged to today. Right. And, and I also, <clears throat> what, what allowed me to, um, to proceed proceeded what I did was I think you know you being a great motivator you know what I mean like we would have ran through that wall you know what I mean had you tell us that's what we need to do to win mm -hmm. so I think you know being being a, a great coach I think you, you got a niche of of, um, of getting in you know finding a, a person strength and then honing in, into that and getting them to be the best that they could be